Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. I'm Gary. And I'm Steve, and I have a horror story. Gary, you know what happened to me the other day? What? I took my garbage can down to the end of the street on Wednesday night like I always do. And Thursday morning, it disappeared. I can't imagine anything worse than that, can you? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I mean, garbage can, I, I had the same problem with my recycle bin. It just, poof. There must gone. be people out there stealing them. I, oh, not, no, you can't steal, people don't. I'm talking about my computer. What the heck are you talking about? I'm talking about my garbage. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm talking about the recycle bin on the computer. It's, oh. mine disappeared. Has that ever happened to you? Yes, it has. I, 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 how, do, how do we fix that? I will show you how to fix it right now. Ooh. Okay, so as you can see here on the desktop right now, I have nothing. Um, the, the recycle bin is not here. And uh, we're gonna go through two different methods here to show you how to get it back. Uh, the first one is gonna be to right click on the desktop. And in Windows 7 here, we're gonna choose Personalize. On, uh, on Windows XP, it's a little bit different, but if you read through the written version of this tip, you'll see that uh, the Windows XP steps are pretty similar, just a couple little differences. Um, on Windows 7, we're gonna go here to change desktop icons. And here's this list of icons that we can automatically put on the desktop. Um, recycle bin is not checked, so we're gonna check that to get it back. While I'm in here, I might as well also point out that you can put other things on here. You can put your My Computer icon, you can put your user files, your control panel, or the network icon here. For today, I'm just gonna choose Recycle Bin, and we'll go ahead and hit Apply and hit OK. And you can see the Recycle Bin uh, went ahead and appeared right here. Now, uh, for the next demonstration, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the Recycle Bin again, and hit Apply and hit OK. The second way to get it back, and this is actually putting a shortcut to the Recycle Bin on the desktop, so it's kind of a, kind of a, a workaround, but this will also work. You can right click down here on the taskbar and you can go to toolbars and then choose desktop. When you click on that, you can then open this up and you can see that there's a recycle bin icon right here on the desktop with our entire contents of our recycle bin here. And then all you need to do is just drag that to the desktop and you'll see it makes the recycle bin shortcut. That's all there is to it. All right, there you go. That's how you get your recycle bin back on your desktop. Uh, conversely, you can always use that tip to get rid of the recycle bin if you don't like it on your desktop. But I know there's probably a lot of viewers right now going, wow, that's a stupid tip. Who cares? I've never had my recycle bin disappear from my desktop. But it happens. Yeah, you know, and if it's like Steve's garbage can, I mean, geez, it could just happen any day. Um, you know, <laughs> sometimes you just need to get it back. I get a lot of phone calls, a lot of emails about it. Really, uh, you know, until it happens to you, don't judge. That's all right. I gotta say. That's, all, that, that's right. So before I run over to Lowe's and grab myself a new garbage can, uh, I'm going to tell you to make sure you go to worldstart.com. If you're not on our computer tips newsletter, we want you on there. Uh, make sure you sign up. It's absolutely free. If you have a question for us, we'd love to hear from you. It's worldstart.com slash ask. We'll put the address right there so you can head on over there. Make sure you check out our Facebook page, browse around the site, have a good time, and thanks for watching.